If an annuity contract includes a death benefit provision, it means that the named beneficiary will receive the remaining annuity value when the annuity owner dies. However, there will be different tax implications on the inherited annuity. The tax you pay on annuity death benefits depends on whether you have a qualified or non-qualified annuity. If you have a qualified annuity, the death benefits you receive from the annuity are subject to ordinary income taxes. However, if you have a non-qualified annuity, you won't pay income taxes on the contributions portion of the distributions since they have already been taxed. You will only pay income taxes on the earnings portion of the distribution. The beneficiary status also determines how much taxes you pay on annuity death benefits. If you are a surviving spouse, you can exercise the spousal continuation provision to maintain the tax-deferred status of the inherited annuity. However, if you are a non-spousal beneficiary, you will owe income taxes on the inherited annuity depending on the distribution option you choose. You can receive payments as a lump sum annuitized payouts or exercise the non-qualified stretch provision. Subscribe to Beagle for more informative videos like this.